in, in the weight division, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our next battle of the evening, brought to you by Crom Marshall Training. Your referee for this contest is Joel Becker. And now, ladies and gentlemen, three rounds in the cruiser weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He wears black with silver trim. He weighed in at an even 188 pounds. His he record thus Look far perfect. Stare. Two yeah. fights, two victories. Representing Y Crew from Boston, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Sidorko. Sidorko. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He wears purple, yellow, and red trim. He weighed in at 189 and one half pounds. His record thus far also perfect. One fight, one victory. Representing Stay Fly from the fighting city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny. Jones, Jones. Kenny Juggernaut Jones coming in. He says martial arts has changed his life, giving him respect for all people. Says it's also made him a uh, calmer guy and healthier person, which is awesome, man. But uh, let's see what his opponent's got for him, man. You know, Mike, Mike's grown out that man beard. You know, when guys go into training camp and they're serious, they don't believe in shaving, you know. That beard signifies the dedication that they put in in the gym. Absolutely. Mike Sidorko certainly dedicated a 2-0 record out of Y Crew Muay Thai in Boston. Coming against Kenny Juggernaut Jones. 1-0, as they say. Somebody's O has got to go. First of three two-minute rounds here at Battle Rock oh, 2. Great knee. Liam Tarrant joining you here with Wayne Barrett. Ooh, right oh, right yeah. down. That drop looked like it hurt Mike a little bit. Mike looks to be the stronger kicker so far. And his knees look really strong. Nice knee, straight on point, right into Kenny Jones's abdomen there. Nice, yeah. Mike definitely looks to be all about the business right now. From what we've seen all night, these Y crew, these fighters out of Y crew in Boston, uh, excellent clinch uh, skills. Yeah, definitely. These guys on the inside are very comfortable, and they're and they're they're aggressive. Yeah, you see it here. Battle Rock 2 here from Rockaway Beach, New York. A night full of action so far, and this bout is definitely living up to that. What I will say about Kenny so far, he's staying calm. He's taking some big shots. Oh, that was low. Ooh. Ooh. Another yeah. low blow, which can happen with two opponents trying to knee at the same time. Unfortunately, one can go astray. I mean, this is totally off, off, off pace here, but what I've noticed in the fight is that a fight night can take, can take the, uh, the pace of, like, the fight before. So if there's, like, a, a low blow in the beginning, there seems to be a, a theme of low blows. Mm -hmm. Going, going forward. I don't know what it is. It's so weird. If there's a knockout in the first couple fights, like the whole night is knockouts. It's always, it's always crazy how it, how it plays out. We've been seeing low blows throughout the night. If that is the case, I hope people in the audience brought their cup with them. <laughs> yeah, but like I was saying prior to the low blow, Kenny, even though he's eating some big shots from Mike, he is very relaxed. He really is. He's eating those shots, and it, you can look in his face right now. He looks really relaxed. Kenny is composed. I was speaking to him before the fight, and he does this. He's got three sons at home, and he loves this sport, and it changed his life. Michael Sidorko here laying on with those kicks, getting Kenny Jones up against the ropes, back into the clinch. Both fighters coming off. Oh, with a, great ooh, jab. I very just, nice. I was just about to say, Kenny's got that Anderson Silver kind of built. Carries his weight in his midsection, his skinny arms. You know, uh, but he looks like he still delivers some power in that jab. He does seem to have the slight oh. height advantage. You can see why they call him Juggernaut. Landed a nice jab there again, Wayne. Yeah, and here it is. It seems like that calmness and that it's it's showing through now. Picking you know, his shots, yeah, being yeah, wise. Yeah, definitely. You can look in his eyes and tell he's he's not phased by those big shots early. And well, and and Mike. And no, I'm sorry. Mike is cut. Mike's cut. Oh, he's bleeding above the eye, above the right eye. Not sure which shot that came in on. Maybe we can catch that on a replay. I saw a little bit of a clash of heads uh, earlier, but I don't know if it's from that, but he did eat a couple of left jabs as well. Yeah, he's got a, yeah. Here in the second of three two-minute rounds. Yeah. I see a little bit of change in the tide. Mike looks a little more weary here. He, I think he tasted a little bit of the power from Kenny. Kenny living up to the juggernaut name, but Mike Sidorko not going to make it an easy fight whatsoever. 
as the gentleman out of Y Crew Jim and Boston are known for with crew Mark Clem up there. Nice knee. And now you see here, now Kenny's turning the tides and showing him that he's, he's no slouch inside the clinch. It's always great to see two gyms that are started by uh, people with great backgrounds in the sport. Mark Clem and certainly Justin Greskowitz. And you can see their, uh, their fighters here reflecting that. And it looks like that cut. Oh, that jab. Reopened. That jab yeah. has, has been nice. It's that jab. Wayne, what do you think Mike Sidorko has to do here? I think Mike needs to go to something else. It looks like his bread and butter is the clinch and the knee, but I think now uh, Kenny's got his attention every time he backs away. So you see as soon as there's distance, Mike just comes straight back in. Mm -hmm. See, he, he doesn't want to eat any more of those. Mike also doing Mike Sidorko also doing a great job with the uh, kicks uh, from close range, getting them right to Kenny uh, Juggernaut Jones's body. Yeah, he Ooh. is, but Kenny looks like he's trying to work on the inside too. Mm -hmm. But Mike right now, he's not showing me anything with the hands yet. Maybe he's saving that for the last round, but for right now, he seems to be a clincher. You know, I think uh, you know when a guy sees the dominance in another guy, Kenny's hands and knees are matching him right now. So Mike's a little shell shocked right now. Kenny Jones certainly not looking phased, as you'd mentioned before, Wayne. No, he looks he, he looks determined now. He's just going to work in there. Of course, how could he be? Kenny Juggernaut Jones previously survived a gunshot wound coming out of Philadelphia, or Philadelphia, as it's been called. Yeah, I see the scar on his stomach. Uh, going straight down uh, his abdomen. I, you can see the scar there. Oh, nice Ooh. knee. And I think that's what Mike was trying to target was to see, you know, if he's weak in that abdomen. But you can see Kenny, man. You know, in the purple shorts and Mike Sidorko in the black. Both fighters trying to maintain, to keep their undefeated records. Kenny Jones having a nice cross face there in the clinch, trying to stop his opponent. Oh. Ooh! Ooh. And, and, and what, it, what you got to pick up here, guys, is all the amateur guys coming up. What Kenny does really well is he's got his elbows tucked to his body really well. My boxing coach, Jason Shrout, you know, he's big on that. You know, you don't give a guy a free shot. And look at what Kenny does. Elbows tucked right in, you know. And, and that's a really good sign of a guy that, that's, uh, that's looking to, to, to get his hands going. Nice knees. Nice job in the clincher. Kenny Jones still looking in control. Oh. Mike Sidorko not going to make it easy for anyone. Definitely not. Love to see Kenny use that jab to a Ooh. roundhouse. Now he's got to set it up. You know, now he's doing one shot, but a left jab to a right roundhouse will definitely change the tide right now. The jab being a great punch for setting everything up behind it. Ooh. Great job. Nice knee coming up there. Going towards the body, Michael Sidorko. Both fighters back into the clinch. Both corners calling for knees in the clinch. Joel Becker not seeing any, so he breaks him up. I think a little more inside kicks from Kenny and a little bit more hand movement from Mike right now. Mike just seems to be bent, uh, uh, spent uh, uh, a little bit here. A little rougher fight than he probably, Ooh. that was that was actually above the belt line, but you know, if the ref didn't see it, he didn't see it. But from, from my angle, it was just, just that area where you can't tell the difference as a guy, you know, and I think people definitely uh, don't take into appreciation the difficult job that a referee has having to make these split-second decisions. Very tough and unforgiving, and uh, nobody really ever notices the ref unless he does something yeah, wrong. It's yeah, unfortunate. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I think it was just a little bit high. I think it was just, like I said, in a sweet spot. I could be wrong. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He looks like a, a clean clean fighter. He doesn't look like he's looking for any breaks. But right. from where I looked, it looked like that knee was just at that waistline where you can't tell the difference. The pain is just going to be immense, just that, that money shot. But it, let's see it right here. Bam. Yeah, it's like in the hip area. It's like in the hip area. Both yeah. fighters coming back out, ready oh, to nice go. Job. They're going to close out this third round. As you said before, Wayne, we're going to see who can steal the end of the round. That kind of a big influence is on the judges. Yeah, definitely. Ten seconds left now, you know. Mike seems to be more of a holder. You know, like I said, he's a clincher, and uh, Kenny likes that distance. But he's no slouch in the, in the clinch either. Great job. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say we get a nice round of applause out here for both of these fighters?
After three rounds of action here at Rockaway, we go to the score totals. All three judges scored this bout identically. 29-28, all for your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated, and he represents Y Crew from Boston, Massachusetts, Mike Sidorko. Like I said, guys.